probation. A grandfather who survived a nasty fall from his porch learned the crews who rescued him return to build. Now, the police officers wanted him to focus on recovery instead of repairing his porch. KCTV5's Emily Rittman explains how they went above and beyond. Jimmy Dole accidentally leaned up against what was a temporary railing. It gave way and he fell all the way down to that hard concrete below about seven to eight feet. I don't remember anything. Jimmy Dole was in the process of fixing his porch railing. After doing yard work for his daughter, he accidentally leaned up against the rotting railing on his porch. We just heard this really loud noise. In fact, the wall shook a little bit. His wife Elaine and her eight-year-old granddaughter rushed to help. Looked down and he was at the very bottom on the driveway, upside down, unconscious in a pool of blood. She called 911. He was just gaining consciousness. This close-knit squad of Blue Springs officers arrived. It was just really tragic from the start. At the hospital, Jimmy learned he had a concussion and four broken ribs. Officer Sarah Murphy visited the family to tell them Central Jackson County Fire Protection District firefighters and police put up a temporary railing. They wanted to help too because they felt like it was a miracle he survived. On their day off, the Blue Springs squad came back with wood and tools to build a permanent porch railing. First of all, I feel like they're friends for life. You know, they just did something that we'll never forget. And I mean, it just makes me want to give back myself to see how somebody would sacrifice for us. I just am in awe and we feel so fortunate because knowing that fall, I mean, he could have not survived it, could have been paralyzed. We're taking you to the hospital. As Jimmy recovers, he wants the officers to know just how much the kind gesture helped his family. Thank you so much for being there when we needed you. The police officers tell us that this really became a community project, that Lowe's offered them some discounts, and that Wildcat Siding even offered some of the wood for free. Reporting from Blue Springs, Emily Rittman, KCTV5.